Before you start picturing yourself in your new living room or, or dining on your future all-season patio, you probably should make sure you're working with a trusted lender to prioritize that essential step in your real estate purchase. Rita in Alpharetta submitted a question or a comment. We recently sold our home and are renting until we find our dream home. Uh, good luck to you. I love that. Even while putting 50% down, sellers are still asking for a pre-approval letter. Is this really necessary? My guess is that Rita uh, and um, her significant other, whoever she's referring to in the we, are looking at homes that are probably priced up in the million dollars uh, or so range. And it does make sense that sellers would be asking for pre-approval letters in those situations. I will tell you, regardless of how well qualified you are and regardless of the price range you're looking in, getting a really good, strong pre-approval letter is a necessity in both cases. If you're looking at a million five or two million or two and a half million dollar houses, in most cases, sellers are not going to let you into the house unless they understand you have the ability, the wherewithal to buy the house. And that makes sense because you know, if you live in a $2 million house, you wouldn't want tire kickers or looky-loos just coming in. I know I wouldn't, uh, and I don't mean to be ugly to people who can't afford the house, but the reality is if you can't afford it, I really wouldn't want you coming in looking at my house um, because I like a certain amount of privacy. But even if you're looking at a home that's in the average price of four fifty dollars or $500,000, you still should get a good pre-approval. And a good strong pre-approval is... It states that your credit has been checked, your assets required for down payment have been verified, and your employment and your income have been verified. So in some cases, working with big lenders, they won't give you a customized pre-approval letter. Sometimes that's the reason to work with a regional or a small local lender, and they can state the facts. We've checked this person's credit, we've verified the employment and the income, and we know that this person has the money for the down payment. And this person is pre-approved subject only to finding a home and the home appraising for appropriate value. So Rita, my suggestion for you is um, it is really necessary. And even if you don't want to cooperate because you feel like people should not be questioning whether or not you have the ability to buy their home because you're paying 50% down, I would uh, get in line and try to cooperate because I think you will be very happy that you did. Yeah.